All right, welcome back. We continue right here on Pittsburgh CW. It's the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Bob Pompiani with you until 11 o'clock on the Bordis and Bordis Hotline. Rick in Chippewa is next on the call list. Hey, Rick. Hey, Bob. Uh, what's the update on Brady's hand injury? Is it something to do with stitches? Yeah, he had got cut. Uh, I don't know what happened. He got involved with Rex Burkhead, and uh, he needed stitches. They thought at first he might have some ligament damage, but he will play tomorrow. They announced late today. Oh, I thought it was still questionable. Do you know who his backup is? Brian Hoyer, who the last time we saw him had no touchdowns, five interceptions as quarterback of the Texans in that. Remember that game against the Kansas City Chiefs down in Houston? And they just yes. blitzed him right out of the shoot. Um, One more question for you, Bob. What are your thoughts on the McCutcheon trade? I didn't like it. I don't, I don't like saying that you're going to be competitive in 2018 and, and then trading your best offensive player and your best starting pitcher, at least the guys yeah, who are workhorses. Bob, Bob, don't you think that even if they kept him, that his contract would have been up at the end of this year? And why is it never considered? Why, why can't you sign him? What, what's so hard about that? Uh, probably wants too much money, and they don't want to pay that. You know how they are. Well, that's my point. There's no restriction on what you should do here. He's 31 years old. Uh, how about this? Roberto Clemente won an MVP when he was 31. Willie Stargell was a co-MVP when he was 32. Who's to say that he can't have five productive years? Where are the Giants planning on playing him? Right center field? field. No, he'll be center? in center field, yeah. Really? Oh, right field? He has the, okay, well, right field. I thought originally they had center. Who are they going to play in center field, Jared, since you're in my ear? Hunter Pence can't play your center field. If they do that, they're mistaken. I would put McCutcheon in there. But thanks for the call. We appreciate that. All right, let's move along. We have Mark in South Park. Mark, you're up. What's up? Hi, Bob. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I was just wondering if you signed that pirate petition. No, because I cover the game, and I'm going to be over there, and that's my job. So I have no interest in signing anything. Uh, it doesn't do – what good would that do? I mean, I, I don't like what's going on, so I can tell you on platforms like this, but I don't have to sign anything because I'm going to go over there and cover them because that's what we do. You have to still cover them, and I want to cover them. I want to see what they're going to have. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I know 42,000 people have already signed that thing, though, so that's interesting. Let's go to uh, Bill in Johnstown. What's up, Bill? How are you? Yes, Bob. Great program. You do a great job. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate your call. Uh, I have an idea I want to suggest to you, and then I'll hang up and you can give me your thoughts and reply. Okay. Uh, something good that, that Cleveland did right, the fans did right, was uh, I guess they had some sort of a parade to make light of how terrible the uh, Cleveland franchise is. And I think something like that could help to draw some negative attention to the pirate ownership. It might help to send another message and draw some attention and maybe embarrass them a little more. I think they need to be terribly embarrassed. So, thank you. Well, idea. listen, all I know is that the Pirates need to, you know, it comes down to what you're talking one game, you're doing another. And, um, again, there was a quote back in November where Neil Huntington pretty much said that our best chance of winning in 2018 would include having Garrett Cole in our starting rotation and Andrew McCutcheon playing center field. So two months later, what's changed? And why did that? And yet you still, you're still you going to be competitive? Um, you may think that, and they should think that, I suppose. But I don't think that's what people are buying because we've heard spin like this before. That's, that's just my thing. Uh, we have this from Bob Kelly on Twitter. You can get in touch at KD Pomp. He says, hey, Bob, the Duquesne story is amazing, but how long do you think it could be until an ACC, a Big Ten, or SEC team come trying to steal him away? Well... You know, that's a good problem to have if that means he's having success. But I hope that, you know, Duquesne went out and, and spent more for him than they had any other coach. You may have to do that quicker and a lot more money. And if you're willing to pony up if he has success, that's a good problem to have. Uh, Big D says, Bob, I think that Mike Mitchell needs to go. Don't think uh, you have Hilton earn more on-field playing time. You know, I think Mike Hilton, I was surprised that he wasn't as active in that uh, game against Jacksonville. I thought really... He's been so good at coming off the edge and doing things, and they didn't do enough of that in that game. I thought they were a little passive when it came to putting pressure on Blake Bortles, and I would have done more of it. After all, uh, I know he can beat you with his legs, but I'd rather him do that than with his arm, as he showed he could do in that game. 412-575-2600 is the number to call. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this on Pittsburgh CW.